Artificial insemination, or AI, is an applied science. Cow-calf producers can use the technology to build consistency and make more rapid genetic improvements. But every step must be done right. Animal scientist Mike Smith says every step matters. They think that the good things that they've done in their management will compensate for the mistakes. But in actuality, any mistake you make can cancel out all the good things you did. So these synchronization and AI programs work, but they're very unforgiving. You have to be very careful to follow them exactly and to do everything correctly. For those trying AI for the first time, it's important to have realistic expectations. Even experienced breeders struggle to achieve conception rates as high as 70%. There are several factors. There's the fertility of the cow herd, and that's not going to be 100%. There's the basic semen quality or the uh, fertility of the sire. There's how you handle the semen. And then there's the efficiency with which you deposit the semen. So if you start, let's say you're doing a 90 to 95% job in each of those, when you multiply those out, you don't get 90, 95%. You get a number, I'd have to do the math, but probably closer to 70%. And so the thing to remember is that with these things, it's, it's like a chain. You've got several links there. Getting cattle bred is only part of the ultimate goal of genetic improvement and requires the use of tools like expected progeny differences or EPDs. It's very important that producers utilize EPDs. I realize it's important to look at the bull as well, but that EPDs are a very, very effective selection tool. They've been shown to be seven to nine times more effective at generating a response to selection than if you were to focus on the individual traits of a particular bull, such as his birth weight or his weaning weight, and because those traits are heavily influenced by the environment. One trait to keep in mind when placing selection pressure is disposition. And many people think of selecting for temperament, particularly for safety reasons, but there's now information using synchronization in AI in heifers and in cows as well, <clears throat> where the cows or heifers that have the more aggressive or more agitated temperament have been shown to have lower pregnancy rates. And in addition to that, heifers that have a worse temperament have been shown to have a delay in puberty. So the success of AI is in the details from cow herd candidates and sire selection to technique. But once the process is mastered, many say the results are well worth it. 